Today, let's take a look at how God works when Pharaoh draws near. You'll understand what I'm talking about when I read you from Exodus chapter 14, starting at verse 10, where we read, And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. So they were very afraid, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you dealt with us to bring us up out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we told you in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. It wasn't easy to leave Egypt, and it was difficult for the people of Israel. Yet in a sense, Israel's problems didn't begin until they left Egypt. When Israel left Egypt, Pharaoh decided that he did not like the idea after all. He sent his mighty army against defenseless Israel. So how would God's people react? First, they reacted with fear. It says they were afraid, very afraid, as a matter of fact. Now, this made sense. According to what could be seen, Israel was in serious trouble. Behind them were Pharaoh's armies, ahead of them was the Red Sea, and there really wasn't any chance for escape. It wasn't wrong for Israel to be afraid, but what they did with that fear was important. Because God was leading them along the way, they should have trust that he would take care of them. Second, they reacted with prayer. They cried out to the Lord. Now, this was a good thing to do. When we're in a dangerous position, it's essential that we cry out to God because God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. That's Psalm 46, verse 1. Often we make prayer our last resort when God wants it to be our first resource. Here, the Lord brought Israel to the necessity of prayer rather quickly. Third, they reacted with panic and unjust accusations. We read, Then they said to Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? This is where the children of Israel began to turn from both reason and from God. It was strange and unreasonable to think that Moses was motivated by a desire to see all Israel die in the wilderness. Fourth, they reacted with what I would call a selective memory. This is what they said, let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians. The children of Israel were not yet a week out of Egypt, and they had already distorted the past, thinking that it was better for them in Egypt than it really was. Already they remembered, in a distorted way, the supposedly good days in Egypt. When anyone begins to walk in the freedom God has for them, they will face resistance, just as Pharaoh resisted Israel as they left Egypt. Maybe we thought that Satan would let us go easily, or that once we had left his kingdom, he would forget about us. It doesn't work that way. Yet just as God preserved Israel, he will preserve those who trust him today. When Pharaoh drew near to Israel, they had to trust the Lord all the more. The same principle is true for us today. Music